Good evening, Council, Mr. President. My name is Rita Ertman, and I'm here today to ask for your help and to share with some information from you about General Motors American Axle in Delphi. I worked for General Motors for 18 years in American Axle, Three Rivers, Michigan for 10 years, retiring with a combination of 28 years. And the reason I'm here today to ask for your help is that I also have grandchildren and family living in the Elkhart area. I was told along with other salary employees, we would receive a retirement pension from both GM and American Axle. American Axle became a company in March of 1994 when it bought five GM plants. When I retired in October of 2003, I received my first check from American Axel and from Delphi, a company I never worked for. Delphi didn't exist until 1999. My Social Security work history statement shows I only worked for General Motors and for American Axel for a total of 28 years. Although I never worked for Delphi, I'm receiving pension from, <coughs> excuse me, from them every month. The question no one can answer is who has been paying Fidelity the monies to pay my pension from Delphi, a company I never worked for. I received a letter September 8, 2009 from the PBGC, Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, that's our government, stating that they now own, they are now responsible for my pension and please understand that the PBGC has only taken responsibility for benefits payable from the pension plan sponsored from Delphi Corporation, again, a company I never worked for. Until they complete their review of each employee's records, we are only receiving estimated payments. Our pensions after review will be reduced monthly by 30 to 50 percent, and we've already lost our medical based on our age and years of service. And guess who will be providing the monies to the PBB, PBGC, all of the taxpayers. So today, here's the most important thing you can do to help our cause. It's communities such as this one, write in facts to your governor, congressmen, and senators, and ask them to support an investigation into the wrongdoings of General Motors. There are employees at American Axel who, in Three Rivers who are still working, who will be affected the same as I, who are living in the Elkhart and surrounding towns in Indiana. We appreciate your anticipated timely assistance in this very important matter, and I thank your time today. Thank you. My name is Grace Bonhomi. I'm a surviving spouse of Walter. Grace, can you tell me where you live? Pardon me? Can you tell me where you live? I live in Portage, Michigan. My husband was an employee of General Motors Corporation in Kalamazoo and retired from Local 488. And I have been working with laws for the last 14 years and trying to support retirees and their families in Michigan, other states. I've been to Washington, D.C. You know, white collar workers have lost their health care and their pension. Those who are 62 will fall under the Federal Pension Guarantee Corporation and will receive a reduced pension paid by the American taxpayer. Blue collar workers have lost their eye care dental and pension checks are lower than they were a year ago. In 2006, General Motors asked the UAW to take over health care in the form of VEBA, which was never voted on by the union, by retirees, by any of the workers. GM is supposed to pay money to VEBA, but has not done so in 2008 and 2009. VEBA takes over our health care in 2010. Where is the money for, for VEBA health care? That starts in less than four months. It appears that General Motors is trying to get rid of our health care, lay it on the back of the worker, and put it in the hands of the union that has allowed General Motors to pay nothing for two years. 
The president's health care plan does not allow companies to abandon their health care plans. We need the community to help us stop the fraud, the deceit of General Motors. There is a direct trickle-down effect to your community, to welfare and financial bottom line. <clears throat> Remember GM and all its subsidiaries affect many communities. Many walks of life are affected. Communities need to stand up for themselves and determine that the federal government help to stop the fraud and deceit that is the being forced on the American people before it reaches the point of no return. Thank you so much. And I uh, lost, uh, right now, we, uh, all of us has lost between five to $6,000. We'll lose at the end of this year. I lost my money on my Subpay, uh, su supplement on my Social Security they gave us. They gave us money when we had our supplement. They took that away from us, which is $79. They took our health care away, our dental away from us and our vision. Hadn't been for a company I worked for, used to work for, we couldn't have glasses. We couldn't afford glasses. But I worked for a company that's given me glasses for my lifetime, till I die. And yet they told us our health insurance was guaranteed to us for life. And they don't, they're not doing it. And Viva, Viva's not going to be enough there, there to take care of us. And I'll tell you, there's no saying. And my dad used to tell me, this, he's dead now, but my dad used to tell me, the fat lady ain't sung yet. And when she sings, we're going to hear her. And I went down to uh, the G20 on a Sunday and listened to people down there lost their homes, uh, lost their jobs. They lost everything. In fact, when Mother Gutman talked about her son who worked at General Motor Plant, Somewhere, in, I think, up there in uh, New York. She got her show. My son was laid off from work, lost his, lost his money, lost his everything. He got a new job. You know where he got a job at? In a prison making license plates. That's what is happening to our country. And these young people who were there uh, Thursday or Friday raising cane, that's your young people saying, where's the jobs? Where's the jobs? We want jobs, you know? I don't, my, my, myself, I won't see another job, but I enjoyed my life as it was, and I enjoyed what General Motors give us. But now it's all going down the tube, and, and nobody cares about us. In fact, we're the old General Motors. We just got letters the other day, you guys, the old General Motors, you're not the new General Motors. Old General Motors got to die. Excuse me, sir. And it, uh, does everyone have their mics? There might be someone else has something. So I'm just saying, the old, the old General Motors, that when it died, we died with it. So us guys now, us people, who are the old people, have got a lot of problems. What are we going to do? I got a wife that takes, her, her medication alone right now cost us since they raised our, our co-payment up. My wife's bill alone was $230 for medications last time. What is that telling you? We used to have to pay $5 co-payment. Now we're up to this kind of money. She got five prescriptions. That's, a, that's, that's, sad, that's sad, that we have to bring our stories down here. I, I told my same stories to our Kalamazoo people, and they said the same thing. What are you guys going to do when you lose it all? And I thank you very much for listening to me. Mm -hmm.